Hello, I'm Kainz on the Gen News, and today we are going to be talking about hypothesis testing in statistics. Of course, I'm a programmer. I'm also called Kainz on the Gen News. Many have been asking me why am I called the Gen News. Well, that would be a story for another day. Today we are going to discuss statistical tests. Of course, I'm a, a programmer, just like you know. But one thing I want to let you know is, uh, as a programmer, you need to have some basic knowledge of mathematics. Of course, mathematics is not prerequisite, but some basic knowledge is okay. But this class is uh, statistics. We start from hypothesis testing. There are a whole lot of tests to be carried out for a particular statistical scenario. For now, I listed about uh, nine of these tests. So the question is, when do you use which test? For instance, we have one sample Z test. Sometimes it's called one sample U test. So if you see U test and you see a Z test, it's all the same. Now we also have independent samples Z tests or independent samples T tests. I have to make this list because I want to show you the various names you might see depending on the test books you use. Then we have T tests. We have the T test. We have one sample T test. We also have independent samples T tests. And then we have paid sample T tests. Okay? Sometimes you may see something like two samples T tests or two independent sample T tests. So if you see two samples T tests, most likely you'll be talking about two independent samples t tests of course we have other ones f test welsh test one way anova and bellet test now these are called parametric tests why are they called parametric tests the reason is because uh, the distribution of your data is assumed to be normal so in this case uh, you assume to have a normal distribution of the data all right, so let's now take a sample problem and then we are going to choose what test to use to solve it. And then in the next presentation, we are now going to follow the steps to actually solve this problem. If you are a statistics student, a math student, a researcher, uh, you might encounter this student, uh, sorry, this question, a question like this. Let's look at it and then we be able to determine what test that will apply so we have the length of a certain product is 100 millimeters we know that the fluctuation of the length is normal distribution around the prescribed value so here is a giveaway telling you that you need to use one of the parametric tests later on we are going to discuss non-parametric tests so if you see normal distribution, know that you have to use parametric tests, one of them at least. Consider the following 10 element pattern, okay? 983-1002-998-996-1002-983-994-991-1005-986, okay? So these are length of different products that has been measured. What you have there, here is a, sam is a sample of 10 different measurements. Of course, if we talk of sample, we also talk about population. So sample is normally taken from population to carry out a measure or a research. The question now comes, is the null hypothesis acceptable that the expected length of the length or of the product is 1000 all right this is not difficult uh, the, the the question might sound a bit confusing but first I want us to determine what kind of test to use now first you must know if you have to use a two sample test or a one sample test in this case you use one sample test because you have just one set of measurements right so you have one set of measurements so it has to be one sample now i'm going to now tell you how to know which some uh, which test to use 
if you are not given the variance or the standard deviation um, if you are not given the, the variance or the standard deviation then you need to use the Z test if you are not given the variance or the uh, standard deviation uh, let's get it right if you are n if you are not given the variance or the standard deviation then you use the T test if you are not given the variance or the standard deviation you use the T test I'm going to repeat it again if you are not given the variance or the standard deviation in the, in the problem then you use the T test I'm going to write it out so that it becomes a little clear let me use a pen so this is a courtesy of a friend in the class called Fatma that helped to clarify this so variance uh, variance unknown uh, I don't really know uh, how to use this pen unknown I didn't know if I got it so you use the T test if the variance is not known then you use the T test so in the next slide let's go ahead to now point out the steps to solve this particular problem now we are going we have decided that the, the test we are going to use is T test one sample t test so we use one sample t test this number three here we are using the t test because the variance is not given if in the problem the variance is given then it's not going to be a t test i'm going to stop here and then we we'll continue in part two where we are going to follow the procedure for solving this particular problem I'd like to thank you for viewing. If you have not subscribed, click on the subscribe button right now so that you can subscribe to get updates on statistical problems and other problems in math, programming and other topics you might want. If you have some topic you want me to discuss, leave it in the comment box and be sure I'm going to discuss it. I remain kind and the genius.